Welcome to Knowledge Graphs. My name is Antan. We are now on week five ontological engineering for smarter knowledge graphs. I will guide you through the current hands-on 5.1 NLP and knowledge graph construction. So recall from lecture 5.5 that we can construct our knowledge graph from unstructured text. So this will be the topic for this notebook. So first things first, we will use spacey library. So let's install that. So for this example, we will be using four sentences, four simple ones about Leonard Nimoy and the Star Trek franchise. Okay, so our sentence, sentences or our paragraph goes like this. Leonard Simon Nimoy was born in Boston and Nimoy played Spock. Spock is a scarf is a character in the Star Trek franchise and Star Trek was created by the great Eugene Wesley Rodenberry. Simple sentences as I've said. So now let's process our text syntactically by looking at the dependency graph as well as um, semantic analysis and look at named entity recognition. Okay, so now here we see the dependency graph of our four sentences as well as the entities that were detected by our model in SPACI. So the entities are in, uh, belong to the categories person, um, places, and organization. Okay, and Let's recall again the, the result of the dependency graph. So our first task here is entity pair extraction. And to be able to do that, we have to look at the results of the dependency parsing. So we look first on the um, part of speech tag as well as the dependency graph. So to discuss a dependency graph, I would just like to say that um, we will be using the same term like head and tail, but this should not be confused with the head and tail um, concerning triples because in a dependency graph, the head actually refers to the tail of the arrow. So here, for example, the head is the verb born and the dependent of born, which is the arrow tip, is the subject Leonard Simon Nimoy. And subject is indicated in the dependency graph tag. So let's look first at the first, let's look at the first sentence in our um, example. Leonard Simon Nimoy was born in Boston. And we can see that the entities can be found in the noun phrases. Here the noun phrases or the, one of the noun phrases is Leonard Simon Nimoy, and another noun here is the object Boston, okay? And the entity tagged as subject is considered as the head of the triple, as in head relation triple. While the object Boston is the tail of the triple, and the verb was born in, this is the relation. And lastly, we need to keep in mind that the subject and the object may be composed of several tokens. In this case, Leonard Simon Nimoy is composed of several, three tokens, and we can um, determine this from the dependency uh, graph tag compound. Okay, so far so good. So how do we extract the entity pair now? Let's look at our code here. Let's run this. Okay, and I will, let's walk you step by step through the whole process. To extract the entity pairs, we use this method, extract entity pairs, as the name suggests. So this method takes as uh, input a sentence and returns the head and the entity tail tuple. So what it does is it goes through each and every token of the sentence and then it tries to build 
the head and the tail entity. So when the dependency graph tag is the subject, we try to assign this as the head entity. And when it's an object, we assign it as the tail entity. So we use these three uh, placeholder variables so that we can build our compound entities. So that's basically it. OK, so let's run this. OK, so we uh, extract the entity pairs for each of our sentences, and these are the results. So the first sentence has two entities, Leonard, Simon, Nimoy, and Boston. The second one, Nimoy and Spock, then Spock and Star Trek franchise, and lastly, Star Trek and Eugene Wesley Rodenberry. So take note that in the last sentence, um, it totally ignored the modifier, the great. So it's just the name of Eugene Rodenberry. Okay, that's it for entity pair extraction. So the next task that we are going to tackle will be the relation extraction. So to extract the relation, we again make use of SPACI. This time we make use of the rule-based matcher class. So if you remember, if we look at our example sentences, we can observe that the relations are often tagged as verb phrases by our dependency parsing. Okay, and looking at our dependency graph, we can define which patterns correspond to the relation. So in the spacey matcher class, we define the patterns depth root because the root of the dependency graph is often the verb, as well as take the preposition. So remember in our first sentence, it's, uh, Leonard Nimoy was born in. So in, born, was born in, it contains the preposition in. So we also take that as well as the attributes, um, determiner, and the agent. And we use the matcher um, to add this pattern. And we say that if we find these patterns, then we can say that it can be a relation in our subject relation object um, triple. OK, let's run this. So now here, because of our patterns, we were able to extract the following relations. Born in and the verb played is a uh, and created by. Now let's combine the result of the entity pair extraction and the relation extraction. And let's run this. OK, so now we have four triples. So the first triple has the following head, relation, tail, or subject, predicate, object, however you want to refer to it. So that's it. That's a simple uh, example on how we can build our knowledge graph from unstructured text. But keep in mind that what we've done here is rule-based because we're just it's just a toy example. If you have, say, very complicated sentences with, say, more than um, two entities in a sentence, you may want to um, employ a different model in SPACI. For example, um, transformers-based um, models are already available in SPACI, and you might want to use that. So I hope you learned something from this hands-on. And the next hands-on will be on um, creating knowledge graphs or constructing knowledge graphs from structured text particularly open refine. So thank you for your attention.